So is C Sharp better than Go? C Sharp and Go or Golang are very powerful programming languages, but are designed with different features, different philosophies, and different use cases in mind. So in my last comparison video, C Sharp was the young, feisty new kid on the block up against the old, powerful, but somewhat complex and troubled heavyweight C++. This time, C Sharp is the more complex older language being rivaled by a younger, more nimble language known as Golang or Go. Go is a statically typed, compiled, high-level programming language designed at Google by Robert Graysimer, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson. It is syntactically similar to C, but also has memory safety, garbage collection, structural typing, and CSP-style concurrency. So when I say CSP-style concurrency, what do I mean? Basically, CSP-style concurrency enables programming logic to resemble non-concurrent code, while at the same time eliminating a lot of the dangers of deadlocks. Go made its first appearance November 10th, 2009. Okay, so I've repeated the next part many times on this channel. C Sharp was developed by renowned Danish software engineer Anders Halsberg and his team at Microsoft. The first version was released in the year 2002. According to the Tyobi Index, at the time of creating this video, C Sharp is more popular than Go. C Sharp is currently ranked at position number five and Go is lagging behind at position number eight. Interestingly, when I look at the Stack Overflow survey, it looks as though Go developers on average get paid more than C Sharp developers. More on this a little bit later. C Sharp is of course supported by Microsoft and Go is supported by Google. So let's get into a little bit more of the delicious details. But before we do that, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Digital. Once you have gone through this video, please let me know in the comment section which language you prefer, Go or C Sharp. And please let me know your reasons for this. Of course, any comments are welcome. Your insights are always appreciated. Right, let's get into it. Paradigm. C Sharp is an object-oriented programming language, OOP, with support for imperative, declarative, and functional programming styles. It's a versatile language used in various domains, particularly enterprise-level applications. Go is designed primarily for simplicity and efficiency. Go is procedural and concurrent, focusing on simplicity, performance, and ease of use. It's not a fully object-oriented language, but supports structural typing with interfaces. Memory. C-sharp memory management is managed by the .NET Runtime's garbage collector with automatic memory management, though it also supports unsafe code for direct memory manipulation if needed. So for example, you could use pointers in C Sharp where you are able to directly access data stored in memory at a specific memory address. But this can only be done in the context of unsafe code, which is considered unmanaged code because it runs outside of the context of the .NET runtime. So by doing this, you are forfeiting some of the core benefits inherent in .NET in the interests of better performing code. Using unsafe code can of course result in less runtime robustness, so your reasons for using unmanaged code should be thoroughly thought out before implementing such code. Go also uses a garbage collector, but Go is designed to have low latency garbage collection, making it suitable for high performance applications. So Go potentially provides the developer with the best of both worlds, both automatic memory management and high performance. Concurrency. C Sharp uses the traditional multi-threading model for managing concurrency. It employs tasks, threads, and the async await model, making it easier to handle asynchronous operations. Go offers built-in concurrency support through Go routines and channels, which are lighter and more efficient than threads. Go's concurrency model is one of its standout features, making it great for scalable systems. Standard Library and Ecosystem. C Sharp has a vast, rich standard library as part of the .NET ecosystem, covering almost every aspect of application development, from desktop to web, 
databases, cloud, asynchronous programming, and more. With Go, the standard library is smaller, but highly efficient and covers essentials for web servers, networking, and concurrency, aligning with its design goal of simplicity and performance. Compilation and performance. c -sharp initially compiles into intermediate language, which is executed by the .NET runtime, just-in-time compilation, or JIT compilation. Though there is support for ahead-of-time compilation in some scenarios, Go compiles directly into native machine code, AOT, ahead of time compilation, without the need for a runtime or virtual machine. This typically makes Go applications faster at startup and more memory efficient. Cross-platform support. Let's look at C-sharp first. Since the release of .NET 5, .NET is a unified platform and has strong cross-platform support across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. C-sharp has had cross-platform support for a while at this point, but not always. Before the release of .NET 5, .NET Core was cross-platform, but the first incarnation of .NET, the .NET framework released in the early 2000s, was monolithic and could only run on Windows platforms. From the start, Go was designed to be cross-platform and is widely used on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows without relying on external runtimes. Syntax and learning curve. C-sharp syntax is more complex due to its rich feature set, making it powerful, but with a steeper learning curve. Go has a simpler syntax with fewer features. This leads to a smaller learning curve and encourages writing clean, maintainable code. Development speed. C-sharp offers more abstraction and tools, for example, Visual Studio, which can help with rapid application development, especially in the enterprise contexts. Go prioritizes simplicity and can lead to faster development cycles, especially in microservices or cloud applications, but may require more effort for larger, more complex projects. Error handling. c -sharp uses the traditional exception handling mechanism, try-catch blocks, to handle errors. Go avoids exceptions and uses explicit error handling by returning errors as values, promoting simplicity and clarity in error management. Use cases. c -sharp is commonly used for enterprise applications, desktop applications, game development using the Unity game engine, and web applications via ASP.NET. Go is primarily designed for system programming, cloud services, networking, and distributed systems. It's popular in microservice architecture, containerized environments like Docker, and web servers. So according to this Stack Overflow survey, the median salary paid to c -sharp developers is a lot lower than the median salary paid to Go developers. So if it's purely money that interests you, this may be something for you to ponder. I would say, though, for the vast majority of developers, money is never your only motivator. People that program professionally in the long term tend to actually enjoy programming, or perhaps in some cases, they are not really cut out to do anything else. They were just born to be programmers, straight out of the womb to the computer. As always, when it comes to salary, we need to bear in mind that these salary statistics may not necessarily apply to you. There are many factors to take into account, like your skill level, your geographic location, whether you are working remotely, whether you are a contractor or freelance, etc. So my advice is to augment your research by performing searches tailored to your specific context using reputable recruitment sites like Indeed or Monster or apps like LinkedIn, and then assess what jobs are available and what salaries are offered. Hey, you may just fall madly in love with one of these lovely languages. Summary. c -sharp is a feature-rich, flexible language ideal for large-scale enterprise-level applications with strong support for OOP and a powerful .NET ecosystem. Go is a lightweight, efficient language designed for simplicity and high performance, especially in cloud networking and microservice environments with superior concurrency features. Each language excels in different contexts, with c -sharp being suited for complex, large applications and Go for performance-critical, scalable systems. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments section which of these languages you prefer and why. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.